everyone, this is Bill. I got a real quick one for you guys today. Today we're gonna to be doing an install on the Kawasaki Z900. As you well know, that is the new shop bike here. Its nickname is Monster. So we are gonna be installing these. The yellow in there will match the uh, wheels that are already on the bike. That highlighter yellow. So they have multiple options of color that you can go with and they have lots of different bikes. So go check these guys out. Really awesome company. OESaccessories.com. Okay, go check them out. Okay, these weren't super expensive or anything. Uh, they have a bunch of different bikes listed. Easy in installation instructions. Um, torque specs for these front engine bolts are going to be 44 foot pounds. Okay, so you can see here we do have the bike up on the stand. These bolts in here, 14 millimeter. 44 foot pounds okay this is a 22 kawasaki z900 what's well, actually technically the zr900 abs but uh, they're all the same for the torque specs up there on those okay so we will get them installed and then i will walk you around the bike pretty simple process gonna be like i said a little five minute video here but we just want to show this because I had to look all the information up as far as torque specs and that type of stuff. There's not a lot of info out on these bikes, on the brand new ones. So we want to put some proper videos out. So it's going to go in this, which is the upper engine mounting bolt. Upper front, or front upper engine mounting bolt. Same with the other side. Right here. Okay, on this bike they are the same size and depth here. Uh, some bikes have will use a longer... Uh, slider than the on one side versus the other on this 22 z900. They are the same size The okay, cool trick to doing this when we work on these bikes is you have a flat spot right here behind where the oil drain plug bolt is Get a get a jack like this and You're just touching it just a little tiny bit of pressure on it Not enough to lift the bike up or anything. We have the bike on a stand So the bike's sitting flat what that does is that keeps so when you pull these bolts that keeps your motor from dropping because you will seriously struggle to get that bolt back in if that motor drops. Um, it's always a good idea to replace one side, get it all torqued back down to torque spec, and then tackle the other side. Well, we start out on the left, then we're going to hop over to the right. Um, if you pull both those bolts out, chances of dropping that motor down are very high, very likely that it will drop. And it will be a nightmare for you to be able to get it back up into position. So you want to be very cautious when doing this. Something so simple can turn into a nightmare so quick if you do it wrong. Okay, so do one side, torque it back down, 44 foot-pounds, then we'll hop over to the other side. Yeah, the bike's a little bit disassembled, but like I said, go check them out. OESaccessories.com. You can also find these on Amazon. So... Pretty cool look to the bike. It'll match the little offset on the wheels with that yellow text. Um, like I said, when you pull a bolt out, the motor can drop. That is exactly what happened here, okay? We had to loosen up all engine mounting bolts and we had to lift the motor back in place to put the bolts back in. Not fun. Pretty easy as long as you have some patience. But definitely had to take more apart than what I wanted to. But this could just be a one-off scenario. I've seen lots of people do it without the motor dropping. But I've read in forums of people doing it and having the motor drop every single time. So just remember that when you're installing flames, frame sliders on this bike in particular. Or any bike that's got these bit, you know, bigger heavy four-cylinder motors. It is possible that pulling one bolt out shifts the motor. You know, as you ride the bike and things sit in, I mean, this has got just now has a little under a thousand miles on it. So motor may have shifted just a hair, you know, finally settled into where it's gonna sit. So as soon as we pull that bolt out, it dropped about two millimeters, enough to where you couldn't get the bolt back in. Okay, so here on my channel, I try to always keep it real with you guys, let you know how things are going. If we are doing something, we run into a problem. So that's what happened. So it's the next day. Um, had my son-in-law come over and help me out. Uh, huge shout out to Kenny for coming over here and giving me a hand with this because it was a pain in the ass. Not going to lie. Okay, but that's how it goes. So just keep that in mind. That may be a thing that happens to you when you're doing your install. You may have that motor shift and you can't force the bolts in. 
because you strip those threads out, you're really going to be in for a hurting. It's not going to be a fun day. Okay, but we got it all back together. Everything's torqued down to spec. Um, so I'll put the torque specs up here for you. I do have a sheet of paper right here that shows the torque specs. There's the torque specs. You can see right here is foot pounds. Okay, I'll let you guys pause it. You need those ones right there if you're doing this job. Okay, and it does say down, yeah, right there. Okay, anyways, with the plastic all back on, she'll look good again. It's a lot of work, like I said, this is a project bike. And like I said before, we bought it. Whoever had it before did not take care of it at all. Um, this thing was very well abused for only having 500 miles on it. Nothing major, nothing major at all, but like just for example, taking one of the fairings off, we found a broken plastic tab on the back. Um, we're gonna try gluing it back together and see if it holds. If not, we're gonna have to order a new plastic. Um, just like little the little plastic washers that go underneath these screws are missing like up here. You see there's a white plastic washer here. Um, Two of them are missing. Don't know why, couldn't tell you. You know, it's just little stuff like that. It's like, you know, I mean, I'm pretty meticulous when I put together a bike and I make sure everything is back the way it should be. You know, unless we're building something like that over there, a track bike, you know, then we make it as simple as possible. But something like this, I would have put every nut and bolt and washer back to torque spec and back where it goes. And that was not the case with whoever took this thing apart. So that's our shop bike, it's a project. We got a deal we couldn't pass up for a bike that only had 500 miles on it. Anyways, go check them out. Oh, yes, accessories.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Like I said, I got those on Amazon, but you can get them straight from their website as well. They have all kinds of frame sliders and stuff like that, spools. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Remember, if you need your Z900 tuned, we do offer custom tunings. Uh, we do also sell DinoJet products, so you can buy a Power Commander 5 for it or any EFI running motorcycle. If you don't see it on our on the list of parts we have, uh, hit me up on messaging, and I'll add it to the website so you can order one from us with a tune on it. Okay, it's uh, blrtuning.co, so that's www.blrtuning.co. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.